Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Android Apps Alert. This one is a little late because of the craziness of the Thanksgiving holiday. But with that said, let's get into the first app. What you're seeing here is Home Plus Plus. It's yet another home screen replacement app. I know how badly we've been needing those. But if you are in the market for something a little different from the stock Android home screen, this is a pretty interesting way of approaching it. Like most others, it's got four screens. Uh, it comes with a replacement analog clock widget. You also get a flip clock for the date and time. And instead of having an app drawer or a notification bar at the top, everything is done through this little dock at the bottom. You can launch a search here, a voice search there. You can open your app drawer by pressing this button. And you can just browse through your apps there. You can also open the built-in task killer. This is going to show you the apps that are running. So if your phone starts to be a little sluggish, you can open that and end them all. You could also choose to ignore certain apps to keep them running all the time. And if you do want to check your notification bar, you just press this little button in the bottom right corner and it'll tell you what's available. Now, you can also add favorites, open your favorites from here. Every time I try to do that though, I get a force close error. Uh, I'm told by a Droid user that it's re it runs really well on Droid. So if you have a Droid or you have maybe another phone that's better at running home screen replacements than the G1 is, this might be a good app to have for you. Uh, if you know some of the widgets don't load yet. If you have a G1 or a slow phone that doesn't perform well with other home screen replacements you tested, you'll probably have the same problem. But otherwise, Home Plus Plus might be something worth checking out. The other day I saw a video of an app called Swipe that's coming to Windows Mobile. Basically as your finger moves along and traces a path on the keyboard, it predicts what word you're trying to say. A lot of people are saying when's this coming to Android and the answer is 2010. But in the meantime there's a very similar app called ShapeWriter uh, for $9.99 that essentially does the same thing. And I know $9.99 might be a little excessive to some people but uh, I'm just gonna show you the app in case you weren't aware of it and let you decide for yourself uh, I'm gonna uh, type a few things right now to see how well it does at predicting what I'm trying to say I'm gonna say Andrew Kamik I'm gonna say Andrew is the greatest human being on earth Okay, I made a few mistakes. It says Andrew is the hardest human being on through week. Uh, it takes a little getting used to. You gotta improve the way you move and how fast you are. Uh, the swipe video would seem to be a little more accurate, but let's see one more time. Andrew is through greatest human being on Toon's face of the earth. Needs a little work, takes a little time to get used to, but it's an option. Rings is a game where you move a disc around to try to get three orbs that are red in, into the pattern that they set up. So I'm going to try that now. As uh, you see at the bottom, it tells you what I have to match. So I'm going to try to do that. All right, leave that there. And just like that, I matched it in only two moves. So I go to the next level, and I see the same thing again. I gotta match that pattern. So let's see which way. The object of the game is to get the get the pattern done in as few moves as possible. Uh, let's see, Move this here. And then turn it upside down and just like that I've got it solved now you can keep going on and on with this until you've solved every puzzle in the beginners and then you can purchase new uh, levels expansion packs basically 
for intermediate and expert this is going to give you a chance to get more versions of rings you keep playing the first uh, set of rings is free afterwards to get more experience uh, more expansions you need to pay $1.99 each if you're a runner you're probably gonna like runstar actually I should say you're probably gonna love runstar because it's a very good app to have as you go along your runs uh, for one thing it helps you keep set goals and keep track as you see this little running icon you press this button and you'll say all right in the month of November I want to run 26 miles so you save that goal and then as you every time you run it's gonna use GPS to track how far you go so for each workout this little uh, running man icon will move over so if you run five miles today he'll move forward five miles and it, as you keep going and and you'll keep going until you reach your your goal for that month you can also go to run and press free run and it's gonna help you uh, have music to listen to while you run you can play one of your playlists shuffle all the music on your SD card and you also have what's called a power-up song that's basically when you're feeling low uh, you need that extra kick you press power up and that's gonna bring you it's gonna play one of your favorite songs so I'm gonna start playing some songs now start with our GPS and as you're running if you want to change the song you press forward or back and then let's say you're you're starting to get tired and like I said you need your power-up song it's gonna play power-up and it comes on immediately the screen changes and it gives you that extra boost of energy you were looking for Right now, there's still a lot of stuff left to be added, but uh, when you're done with your workout, it tells you how far you went, how, how long it took you, uh, gives you speed and elevation. You can post the results to Twitter to let other people know. I'm going to delete this. And then uh, later on, you can check your results and track how far you've gone this month, year, or all time, number of workouts, average time. And there's a lot of stuff that they're going to plan to add, but even right now, it's a very good app to have. It's called Runstar. You can have it set to be miles or kilometers, depending on which uh, measurement system you use. Block X is another game that you probably may have heard of. If not, it's basically Tetris in 3D. You play, you can start a, a new game, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. It is ad supported, but you can also pay for a pro version, which doesn't include ads. Basically, you move objects around just like you would in Tetris. The object of the game is to complete a line, but since this is in 3D, it adds another dimension to the gameplay. Now, you can move items around by pressing them on the screen. I'm not very good at this game. You'll probably fare better than I will. But just so you get a, a sense of the game, it's called Block X. Uh, you can save a game when you leave it. And basically, you have your options to how you want to play. And it also comes with a tutorial to help you be good at the game, unlike me, who sucks at it completely. But it's pretty pretty interesting way, pretty cool game. So check it out, Block X. It's free uh, with ads, or you can pay for a non-ad version. That is, uh, I don't know the exact cost. I'll add it at the bottom of the video.